Welcome to Play to Win, where we play to win. I'm Dylan. And I'm Cameron. Today marks the first episode of season three. So we wanted to change things up a bit and bring you a casual deck this week. So we have Zyrus Wheels, Gave Aristocrats, Fantas Force Combat, and Edgar Vampires. Real quick, we'd like to go over the rules of casual, at least how they are to us. Do you remember the rules to casual? No free counter spells. Okay, I, that was one. No mana positive rocks except for Soul Ring because it's Soul Ring. No unconditional tutors that are less than three mana. We originally had no infinite combos. We're changing that a little bit for maybe this is high power casual, but combos are okay if they are a total of seven mana total to execute. Also, since this is casual, your intent can't be to tutor for the combo. So intent is part of the rules. You're playing to play, not to win. And we've also done away with the $100 restriction. Sorry, Wheel of Fortune recently spiked and it just kind of makes sense in a Zyrus deck. It's still technically in the restriction, basically. To be honest, these are casual rules, so if you find a reason to break any of them because your deck needs to have that, it's totally fine. I've been thinking about putting Vampiric Tutor in Edgar. It's, it's, it's a Vampiric flavorful. Tutor. It's, it's Vampire right in your title. Begin. Begin. Forest and pass a turn. Draw a card. Concealed Courtyard, Guldra's Assassin. Get a Vampire. Pass turn. Draw. Breeding Pool untapped. Finhorn Elves. Pass turn. Draw. I'm going to play a Plains. Meek Stone. Okay. Cast Gogori Signet. Pass a turn. Draw a card. Play a Swamp. Brandon, I'm coming at you for two. Cast a Blood Artist. Get a Vampire. Pass turn. Untap. Draw. Play a Misty Reinforce. Crack it right away. Steam Vents untapped. Cast Gamble. Brandon, will you choose a card at random? Mm. Memory Charm. Cast a Soul Ring. Cast a Sakura Tribe Builder. Pass turn. Untap. Draw for turn. Forest. Swift Footballs. Go. Draw for turn. Forest. We're going to get down this Hornet Nest. Pass the turn. Draw card. Sunbake Canyon. Attack. Brandon. Three. Cast Forerunner of the Legion. Get a Vampire for Forerunner. Captivating Vampire. Put that on top and pass the turn. And stepping in a Sex Sakura Tribe Builder. Mountain. Draw. Land for turn. Makokoro. Way down Makokoro. It's Kokomo. Uh, I don't know. I think it might be that. Cast a Dockside Extortionist. Does anyone have any treasure tokens? Oh my god, that's so weird that you've mentioned that. We conveniently do have treasure tokens. We're taking the cam Dockside. Three treasures. I can't really play my commander because of fucking Captivating Vampire. I pass turn. Draw. I went swept Heath. I'm gonna crack it. Overgrown Tomb. Soul Ring. Wilderness Recognition. Move to my inset. Trigger. Go. Draw for turn. Swamp this time. A read the bones. Let's bottom both of these, draw two, and lose two. Uh, we're also going to take this opportunity to far seek as well. Stomping grounds, and then we'll pass a turn. Draw card. Play a prismatic vista. Fetch. Get a swamp. Cast a sanctum seeker. Get a vampire. I wanted to play the captivating vampire, but Edgar is an aggro deck, so I think it's important to maximize your curve as much as you can. So if I can get a four drop down this turn and potentially on my next turn play captivating vampire with a two drop, that's where I would rather be, especially because captivating vampire would be able to take more creatures at that point. When he ETBs four rental trigger, I will give these two vampires plus one, plus one each. I'll go to combat. I'm gonna send these guys at Brandon. Sanctum Seeker will trigger, everyone loses five life and I'll gain five life. And then I got a 3-3, three, three, a 2-2, two, two, and three one ones coming at you, Brandon. That's eight. And then I'm going to pass my turn. In end step, I'm going to activate Mukokoro so we each draw a card. Way down Mukokoro. I'm still not sure that you're singing it right. <laughs> <laughs> Untap. Waterlogged Grove as land for turn. Siren Storm Tamer. Cast my commander. Pass turn. Draw. Planes for turn. Cast my commander. Equip them with swift foot boots. End step. Reclamation triggered. Untap these lands and pass. Play a swamp, cast a regrowth, targeting, read the bones. Recast, read the bones. Bottom, bottom, draw two. Trigger, trigger. I will take two snakes. Pass the turn. Untap. Draw card. Go to combat. Cameron, I'm going to attack you. Six creatures. Trigger Sanctum Seeker for six. Everyone take six. I'll gain six. I'm going to block one of the one ones. I get a one one. Main phase two, cast a Twilight Prophet. Get a vampire. Pass turn. In and step. Activate Makokuro. That'll be three snake triggers. Untap. Activate Makokuro again. I will get three more snakes. Move to combat. Brendan, I am going to swing a 3-5 flying creature at you. You and I each draw three cards. I'm going to play a Rootbound Crag. Cast a Garrick Wild Speaker. Plus one him right away to untap these two lands. Cast a Magus of the Wheel. Unrespond. Going to abrupt decay the Blood Artist. I'll ping you for one. Pass turn. Make a seven. And I'll make a second one. Draw. Golgari Signet. Kadama's Reach. Swamp into play tap. Forest to hand. The land for turn. 
scavenging news. Harden scales. Move to end step. Ultimate reclamation triggers. Go ahead. Go into my turn. Draw for turn. Fields of Ruin for land. Cast a Dread Boar targeting the Sanctum Seeker. Fuck off. I have the Blessing. I forgot. City's Blessing over here. Seedborn Muse. Yes. I have nothing else. Untap. Twilight Prophet. Each player loses three life, and I gain three life, and I put it into my hand. And then I will draw for turn. I'm going to pray to the gods of the vampires. Vampire Nocturnus. Get a Vampire token. Reveal the top card of my library. Damn it. It's not a black card. Fuck. So I played the Vampire Nocturnus here because I was really hoping if I flip a black card there, I have enough flying damage that I think I can get Tyler dead. And Tyler is definitely my biggest threat at this point. But if I can't get Tyler dead now, those snakes are just gonna get way too out of control. Forerunner Legion, when these two vampires come in, I'm gonna give Twilight Prophet plus two, plus two. I'm gonna send five vampires at Cameron on the ground, and I'll send a four flying at Garrick. I will declare no blocks. I am going to block two of the tokens, one with a Hornet's Nest and one with a Seaborn Muse. One of them die, and you create a bug, pass my turn. Untap everything but Zyrus. Play an island. Cast Oko Thief of Crowns. Plus one Oko and make Vampire Nocturnus an elk idiot. I'm going to use the floating colorless to crack waterlogged growth to draw a card. Activate Magus of the Wheel. I am going to Pyroblast your commander. I will suck Sire and Stone Tamer to counter the Pyroblast. All right, well, that's fine. Well, I, I at least got some value out of Pyroblast then. Couple lands, Harmonize, Cultivate, and a Sandworm Convergence. A lot of vampires. You get 21 snakes. I do. 21 snakes. 20. One. Move to combat. Brennan, I'm going to attack you with 11 snakes. That's a lot of snakes. I'm going to activate Scavenging Goose to target Captivating Vampire to exile and put two counters on Scavenging Goose. Exile the Blood Artist, put another two counters on Scavenging Goose. Oh, so when he says the combo piece? Yeah. Yeah, we'll do that. So now there are six counters on Scavenging Goose. I'll remove a counter from Scavenging Goose to make a 1 1. I'll remove a counter, make a 1 1. Remove a counter to make a 1 1. I'm going to block 1, 2, 3, 4. 7 get through. I'm at 1. Second main, cast an Elvish Mystic. Pastor. I'm going to do a couple things. Field to ruin your red source there. Each player searches for a basic. Cast Malicious Affliction. So it gets a morbid trigger, which means that we get to cast a, a copy of it. I'm going to choose Tyler's Commander, the Forerunner of the Legion. That is all. You are all set to go, man. Priority comes back around because he did stuff, so I'm gonna exile another vampire. Untap. Draw. Fertile Footsteps, which is the adventure half of being stock giant. Uh, I'll find a swamp. Grave Pact. Zulaport Cutthroat. Land for turn. Remove a counter here. Make a 1 1. Remove a counter here. Make it 1 1. Go to my end set. Untap my wings. Pass the turn. Let's draw for turn. More stuff that I don't need. Alright, let's play. Let's play a forest. Cast a Solemn. Solemn is gonna go get us another mountain. Kazool. Tyrant of the Cliffs. Finally, I have my way out of this. Let's finally let everyone come at me. No one wants to pay three mana to just let their stuff come in. All these one ones are gonna be gone and I'm gonna be flooding the board with these three, three red ogres. I'm so fucking excited. You know, Kazul doesn't really do that. Kazul just says no one's gonna attack you. Isn't he? I don't know if Kazul has ever given anyone a 3-3. Three, three. They're just not going to attack you. Well, I mean, uh, you get to the point in forced <laughs> combat where they have to come at me. But at you don't have any forced combat. Uh, well, no, not the next <laughs> turn. I'm coming up on it. I'm coming up it's on it. It's coming. Don't it's you coming. worry. But Grave Pact, I've, I've already lost the game. Let's attack Oko in the air for two. Now I'll pass. And Cameron's on set. Swords. I'll gain two life. Untap. Draw a card. Play a Mute Vault. Cast an Orzov Signet. Cast a Vampire Cutthroat. Get a Vampire. Cast a Falcon Wrath Gorger. Get a Vampire. Pass turn. In your end step. Cycle the Triome. Untap. Draw. Plus one Oko to attempt to make Zulaport Cutthroat a 3-3 three, three Elk. Problem is I'm dead no matter what I do. Well, what gives you the best opportunity to maybe not be dead? Uh, I don't think there is one. Well, this is casual, so you're allowed to do anything you can on the way out. That's part of the rule, right? <laughs> you're playing to play, not to win. So. Even the things I do will just leave both of you guys without boards, really. Uh, yeah, you know what? Fuck it. We're going to start by one at a time so that I don't get uh, in case there's interruption, but stacking these five sacrifices. Everyone sacrifices five creatures, loses five life, and then I gain five life. Those counters are going onto the big boy. Then I will sack the cutthroat put counters. Each sack another creature, each lose another life, and I'll gain one more life. Okay. Now Oko attempts to resolve and has nothing to resolve to. So you have 23 snakes. Yes. Many. Much. I love how we're representing 12 counters on Gave right now with six, four, and two. And also how we have 23 snake tokens. We're represented by two, two and three. <laughs> it also looks like he has 32 snakes, depending on how you look at it. To only Tyler, it looks like 23, but to the rest of us, it looks like 32 or five. He's the only one that matters. Cast Kira Great Glass Spinner. 
Out of my 23 snakes, I'm going to send 14 at Brandon, leaving me with 9. You don't want to kill me. I mean, I do, but I'm I'm less scared of you right now. And I think I have to have blockers because all Dylan really has to do is play a lord and then I'm just in trouble. Yeah, no blocks. Dead? Second main, command tower. Cast my commander. Pass through. All right. Well, you guys are about to be in some, some tough trouble here. Cast my commander. Thantis. There's no... I mean, I just want to... What else am I going to do this turn? Rakdos Signet? Cast a Fumiko, the low blood. Pass the turn. In case one of them wasn't gonna get it done. <laughs> Untap, draw a card. Vault of the Archangel. Cast Cruel Celebrant, get a vampire. I'm gonna attack Cameron, since I have to attack, and it doesn't seem wise to attack into the snakes. Or maybe I just, dude, anyway, dude, I don't fucking know, this is hard. Attack into Cameron. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'm gonna put Fumiko in front of the Ghoul Draws, and I'm gonna put Thantis in front of the uh, Gorger. So Thantis triggers, gets five, plus one, plus one counters. Before damage, I'm also going to activate Vault of the Archangel. Each opponent loses two and I'll gain two. Also gain one, two, three, four, five more. So my creatures are also dead. I'm going to leave it at that and pass my turn. 23 snakes. Draw. Land for turn, Gaia Reach Sanitarium. I'm going to activate Mikokuro. I will get two more snakes. Move to combat. Cameron, I'm going to swing my commander and two snakes at you. That's, that's overkill. Well, I was just being safe. That is it for attacks. Great. All right. Well, see you guys. Go to damage. Does he draw the cards? Oh, I guess he doesn't. I still draw the three from him, but I don't get the snakes from his draw. Oh, that was rather good. Cast Cryptolithrite. I'm going to tap down five snakes to generate two blue and three other colors. I'm going to cast Treachery Targeting Cruel Celebrant. Sure. Float a red and a blue and then untap five lands. Red and a blue floating. I will use one of those to cast a Skull Clamp. That's it. We're done. We are done here. Tyler just lets to go in full Super Saiyan mode at this point, using all of his tokens for mana and for card draw and gaining all the life back with my Cruel Celebrant. We're done. It's Rabbit. like a CEDH deck at this point. <laughs> I'll use the other one to equip to one of these snakes. Skull Clamp trigger, Cruel Celebrant trigger. Hit this other snake here. Cruel Celebrant again, Skull Clamp again. Go again, hitting one of these. Skull Clamp, do another one. Skull Clamp, another one. Go again, go again. Okay, that helps. Cards in hand. Four. Cast Mystical Tutor. I'm gonna put Cyclonic Rift on top of my library. Eat one more of these guys with Skull Clamp to draw two. Cast in Impact Tremors. There we go. Cast a Teferi's Puzzle Box. Pass two. Untap. Draw a card. Puzzle Box. I guess what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cast Swords to Plowshare on Kira before I do that. Counters. And these four go at the bottom, and then I'll draw four. One, two, three, four. Snakes. Play an Isolated Chapel. I will cast an Indulgent Aristocrat. Get a vampire there. Impact sure, yeah, yeah, I take four. One, two, three, four. I have like nothing good to do. Pass turn. End step. I'm gonna big rift. You got it. Twenty one snakes. Fairy's puzzle box tells me to put one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. On the bottom. And draw eighteen. I would like to pay a large amount of mana. Cast Crater Hoof Behemoth. That'll do, pig. That'll do. Is that from Archer? That'll do pig. No, that'll do pig is from Babe. The, oh, is the, that? the farmer, the, the farmer movie. Oh, because uh, Krieger says that'll do piggly. Well, it turns out Rog is really the best casual color. I mean, you I get the ramp in green, you get the card draw in blue, and then there's a lot of good kind of like chaosy effects in red that you get access disruptive, to yeah. that have Ooh. a lot of disruptive elements to them too, which a lot of times you know, are kind of hard to to play around. Like in, in this example, you know, we have a chaos -y element of snakes. You know, there's always going to be snakes. Yeah. Maelstrom Wanderers is like legit chaos. Yeah. Um, you know, so there's there's always like this kind of weird element when you have like the, the red mixed in with the blue green. That matchup is definitely a lot different if I can draw Zealous Conscripts, Zealous Persecution. Zealous, zealous Persecution. persecution jinx. Um, or if anyone can find a sweeper at any point, the game definitely shifts, but that's kind of well, that's kind of casual, right? That's, that's kind of how casual, casual goes. goes. If you'd like to pick up a shirt, you can still do that. The first batch should be sending out right around now June 15th is when the first batch was supposed to send out um, but there might be some COVID delays I was told so let me know as soon as you get the shirt if you would like some custom treasure tokens or would like to donate to Black Lives Matter or both you can do so at the link below forward us a receipt that's play to win mtg at gmail.com and we'll send you a pack of tokens also support us on patreon thanks thank you to everybody have a great day Mega obvious finger guns outro, <laughs> and and we're leaving. Now we walk up screen. And all right, everyone knows I'm wearing khaki shorts. <laughs>
That's probably good, right? Yeah. I thought that was All good. Right. Yeah. All right. <laughs> See you later.